Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Um, today I'm just going to give you a little um, tutorial. Um, it's a modding tutorial just on how to uh, basically make a custom item and make it snap to the existing floor pieces in Icarus. Um, and so there's a, a few things you need to know in order for that to work. So, uh, for example, so y you know when you put down a crop plot, um, you can snap them to these four uh, locations on a floor piece, which is which is great. And I want to do that with um, you know with a with a custom piece that I built. Um, in this case, it's a you know it's just as an example, it's a I just made a I recreated a box or a, a kitchen corner bench. Um, sounds wrong and all that stuff, but anyways, I called it Pete's uh, Corner Bench, and it's great. Um, but the problem is, it doesn't—oops, it doesn't snap to uh, where I want it to. It just, you know, it's kind of free, free uh, positioning on a floor, and it allows me to rotate and etc. So how do we, how do we make it so it snaps like these uh, crop plots? So that's what this tutorial is about. Uh, so sit back and relax, and uh, I'll walk you through it. So here we are in. Um, in Unreal Editor, uh, and uh, we're taking a look at this nice little box that I created. Um, this is looking at the uh, static mesh, um, but I need to find out uh, where in the game the information about the um, the snapping points that we're going to find the uh, the crop plots uh, are snapping to the floor pieces. So I'm going to chase you down the rabbit hole to uh, to find that information. So the first place I go, I go usually to is the um, uh, basically, the traits itemable.json file. Okay, uh, and if I do a quick search using Control F and I look for uh, farming crop plot T2, actually, you know, make make it even easier. I don't, maybe I don't even know what the crop plot name is, and it's something like wood crop, because uh, that's what it says in the game. And um, and there and I go and search, and there it is. There. Um, is the wood crop plot so this is the right one that I'm that I'm looking for um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna basically backtrack and find out where the uh, snap socket uh, locations are for this crop uh, crop plot okay so first step uh, the name the item name of this is this guy here um, and what we want to do is find this name in the uh, item static JSON file um, so this this file here is the itemable. So this has the English language um, of all the objects in the game, like right here and here, under the display name. Um, and then this is the code name under itemable for that is going to occur in the item static file. So we're going to go look for, or not this one. This one here is the one we want. So we're going to we're going to go Control Find, and then we're going to switch to the item static file, which is under items data items item static json and we're gonna we're gonna find this right and so we found it now here in this uh in this record so then in this record uh there's going to be a deployable uh record in here and that's this guy right here and so what we need to do here is we need to find this name in the deployable json so we're going to again hit Control F, and then we're going to go over to the deployable uh, JSON file, which is under traits D underscore deployable dot JSON, and we're going to look for this again. And there it is there. And again, down the rabbit hole further, we look at the row name, and this so happens to be the same name as the, as this name, so that's that's okay. So we can now find this in the deployable setup and um, so we go and find this one and there it is so this is the crop plot so deployable setup gives us some information about uh, what blueprint runs um, when you deploy this thing and uh, when you interact with it you know sort of what the mesh the preview mesh is going to be this the, the sound for it and etc but the part that we're most interested in is down here uh, in the snap actor tags record and the snap socket or tags uh, records. So the this first part, the snap actor tags, is basically what the uh, blueprint is going to be looking for 
um, in order to uh, locate the actual sockets, right? So, so uh, to explain that better, um, sockets are, are uh, particular uh, locations on a static mesh um, that uh, indicate that you can use to, you know, to do the snapping thing, right? And all building floor pieces, um, you know, have a whole bunch of different kinds of socket tags built into them. Um, but this is the code name that we, we need to look for uh, to snap to a, to a floor piece. So this has to be a tag that exists in your deployable BP, if that makes sense. So if we go over to Unreal Engine and take a look at our, um, so this is our static mesh, but we need to take a look at the, at the blueprint. So if we go to my blueprint here and we load that up, um, it's got a static mesh in here of this box and um, where I need to put this um, this information about the floor piece is I go to the uh, class defaults and go over to the details section over here and do a search for tags and you can see there's a an actor tags that we can add to this blueprint so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our uh, snap actor tags here and we're going to just copy this building floor we're going to go back here and we're going to add an element for that uh, a, a tag element and we're going to just highlight this and we're going to change it to building floor and we'll hit enter we'll compile and save so to emulate how the uh, crop plot um, snapping works um, I want to basically make sure that I copy all of the information um, that's in the uh, crop plot um, uh, deployable setup file uh, to my file. So I'm going to just basically copy. I've got everything up to about here. So so I'm just going to copy this whole section. Uh, sports custom rotation is false, so I'm not going to be able to. So it's going to snap now, and I'm just going to copy it up to the end of this record here and uh, put it into um, my, add it into my new record of my box that I'm adding in here. You need to watch that your, um, your commas are being followed here since that was the last item before. Um, I need a comma at the back end of that. And then it's, uh, that should be all good down to here. The last item in this one here doesn't have a comma either. So we should be good for this. and. Uh, like I said, if you're confused about this, what, what is this file? This is uh, basically just a scripting file that I that I use to uh, to change JSONs. It's pretty straightforward. It you know it tells me you know here's the JSON that's uh, being impacted, and I'm going to add a record to the rows section, and it's going to be this whole thing here that I'm going to add in there. So, anyways, I'm going to um, uh, basically rerun these scripts uh, so that my uh, uh, JSONs get updated and then I'm going to um, cook all of the stuff that's in the um, in the Unreal editor and then um, finally just pack all those files together and, uh, and get it into the game and then we're going to test this to see if it works. All right uh, welcome back so uh, let's see if this works or not. We're gonna... and, uh, it looks like it does work. You can see now my boxes are following perfectly the crop plot uh, locations, um, socket locations, so that's, this is good. And uh, Alright, so just, just a quick note about these um, snap sockets or tags um, section right here. Uh, these names of these sockets, I have another video on, on how to set these sockets up, but they're, uh, socket tags are um, existing on the destination item that you want to snap to. Okay, so in this case, snap, uh, the socket tags are actually on the floor piece. So if you ever opened up a uasset file, for example, in this one, um, it's it's actually the SM build floor concrete uasset, so, and this would be for any you know type of floors basically. Um, they're going to have uh, information about the uh, sockets at the bottom end of the um, export data that you see here. So if you expand all these out. Um, you, you can see uh, just under the static mesh socket entry, you're going to see a, um, 
a name here like this is a ladder socket for where the ladders uh, snap to on a floor piece right and um, and there'd be probably like four of those right and then there's railing sockets and then there's you know so there's a whole bunch of different uh, types of sockets that are described in the floor pieces right um, so you can kind of go down there and take a look now you can also find out you know sort of where where the uh, actual okay so here's the crop crop sockets we were that we see here right so um, so that's number two that's number one um, and when you expand that out a little bit you'll see that it gives you a relative location of where that uh, socket is so all that information lives in the in the destination um, actor if you will um, of what you're trying to snap to so that um, so that's an important piece of information for you there as well so um, what else yeah you can play around with some of the different settings in here in deployable setup to see sort of how that works a little bit but just remember this this information resides in the destination um, static mesh and this information resides in the uh, the blueprint um, for your custom deployable item so I hope that helps um, uh, if you have any questions you know uh, send me a note or whatever um, thanks for watching bye for now